Of course, Flagstaff getting in on the snow. Several winter storms already since the start of the year. We want to check in now as that snow comes down. Ashley Holden has been there since last night. Ashley, those are some big flakes falling on you this afternoon. <laughs> Some big flakes and some big snow piles that you can see behind me, but we are here really because of the far reaching impact. We are in downtown Flagstaff and when you look at these big snow piles and you see everyone putting out salt, the snow plows going through. I actually want you to think about Arizona's water. Now take a look at this video. SRP who helps supply water to the valley just did a snow survey measuring the snowpack just south of Flagstaff and creating runoff predictions. A meteorologist saying this was the biggest sample he's ever taken. That runoff, they believe, will help fill and even surpass SRP's reservoir capacity. Based on our runoff forecasts uh, that we've developed, we're going to have more water from that snow melt this spring coming down than the capacity remaining. So as for the day of impacts, I mentioned those snow plows, people salting the sidewalk. This is what you see when you drive here and you have to be careful. We have seen people stuck or sliding on these roads. We actually had to help out a few NAU students here. Major parts of highways like I-40 and US 180 closed throughout the day. NAU canceled in-person classes and closed campus here in Flagstaff. We talked to one downtown business owner about the winter storms that have hit the city in the last two months. Yeah, we definitely have gotten more snow in the first two months of the year than we've gotten ever since I've been here. Do the 10 inches today and then I'll finish the next 10 inches tomorrow morning. And people are out here snow blowing. Actually, you can see right there still right now trying to get ahead of this. So tough to deal with, of course, day of, but positive news when it comes to water and those reservoirs. But there's also the impact from the Colorado River here in our state. I'm going to have an update on the situation there, the water situation tonight at five. For now, live from a very snowy Flagstaff, I'm Ashley Holden, ABC 15. We'll send it back to you.